Hey, this is Brian. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about uh, Cura, the Ultimaker um, Slicer. Um, it, it, it's made for Ultimaker, but you can use it on other printers. My thing actually is an Ultimaker, so uh, let's get started. So first off, uh, you launch the software. This is the printing bed, basically. It's showing you kind of the volume based on whatever printer you set up. Um, I've already set mine up. You might have to go through some steps to uh, do that anyway so let's get um, a file in there so I'm gonna um, I'm not actually sure <laughs> if I've just started I think I could just open new files um, I've already saved out my CAD um, uh, files on the desktop as 3dm files so they should be up here somewhere there it goes shark lower 3dm and I've saved them as two separate things so I have to bring them both I don't know if I can select two let's try that let's see what happens well, something happened all right, so on my uh, three button mouse, I'm using the scroll wheel to kind of zoom in. And uh, once you, you see these kind of stripey things, my desk is making a little noise here. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> that means you can't print that because it's off the printer bed. So I'm going to move this over and into more or less the center. And then also notice that some of it's below ground. And again, I don't understand why, but I'll just pick it up and drop it. And uh, it snaps into place. And then I'm going to grab this other piece and pick it up, move it over, and um, push it into place. Now, I want the uh, top surface is going to be um, the, the nice surface. So I want to flip this one over. So um, if you select any of these, the first option is the um, move tool. But on this one, I'm going to select it and then change the rotation tool. And if I um, click on these, the arrows on these loops and hold down, I believe it's command. Let's try that. It should go in 45 or 90 degree increments. And there we go. It's upside down. OK, so um, and it doesn't really matter where you print um, these um, where, where they're located on your print bed basically you just want to make sure they both fit like um you know if i were making a whole bunch of these i might flip this and kind of nest it in there but I, it doesn't really matter it's not going to use up any different amounts of material um and the whole printer bed is all a uh, fair game so let's uh now so i've got um my thing's already set up it's reading my printer and it says it's got tough pla which is a kind of nice more durable than normal PLA. And then the second one, uh, I've got two uh, print heads. The second one has natural PVA, which is a washable filament. That means you can actually just throw this in a bucket of water when you're done and let all the, the support material dr uh, dissolve away. But um, I think I'm gonna try printing this um, with n without the natural, just to kind of show you the, if you only have a one headed printer you'll only have one option. So if you click on this next tab here, um, this gives you all your options for printing. And um, you'll have to mess around with these, but the, basically the, the kind of easy default ones are here. And it gives you some kind of cues like, oh, if I want one really nice, um, I might choose just purely visual. If I need something really tough and strong because it's going to go through some wear and tear, I might choose engineering. And if I need to do something super fast, I might choose draft. And each of these has some different resolutions above it. And so basically, the further down you go, the, the more uh, layers it's going to be. So the finer the detail will be. So if I just wanted to print these up, let's see, um, let's go super coarse draft. And, um, and we want support. So I'm going to click on that and it says extruder one and adhesion is kind of a funny thing. It's I think it was built more for um, other materials that warp off of the bed more often. So but I'm going to turn that on and you'll see what it looks like now. That's the default settings. So let's just go ahead and slice this and see what it does. So that's the next step is to click that little slice button and it will um, we can close this window while it's doing it. It's going to generate. Um, it says in the super, super draft mode, two hours and four minutes to print. It actually gives me how much material I'm going to use. Um, and then the thing you want to do is preview this. And right now I've got mine set on color. And so um, what it's showing you, the blue is all the support material that's going to be broken away later. 
and the um, the difference between the yellow and the red here I think if you click on this you can see let's see yellow is the top and bottom red is the shell um, infill is orange so let's see what this looks like so we'll slice this by just pulling this is the layer so this says 148 layers and if you go into here you'll see uh, because we've already um, shelled this I don't think there's going to be much support material inside of the um, uh, the the shark meaning that uh, if, if I printed something solid there's actually a little network that it'll print which we'll show you or uh, keep the interior it's basically permanent support on the inside so um, th what this is showing me like you can see all this blue stuff is um, the support material coming up and then it will um, it's not quite touching the surface uh, until we get up at like in the top layers, but it just touches in little places. So it makes it really easy to break off. Okay. So, and then, and then this, uh, I'm going all the way down to the bottom. This is that, um, what did I call it? Support raft or something or other. It prints a bunch of lines up to kind of get some adhesion to the plate before it starts printing. And that's also just stuff you break off. It's no big deal. Okay, so remember this two hour, well, basically two hours. Now let's change the settings. So that's the super sl uh, fastest I can do at this point. And this guy's about four and a half inches. So he's actually fairly big. So let's go up under uh, default and we'll go to, so this is uh, 0 0.03. We'll go to point, let's go all the way up here just so you can see a big difference. And um, this infill shows you, again, this one's not going to really. Um, uh, make advantage of the infill because it's mostly solid walls anyway so um, but usually around 15 or 20 percent is fine <clears throat> uh, the more you do the more material it uses and that's more solid the interior gets but it really doesn't help the exterior look any different so all right so this is taking a little longer to slice and I forget what how many layers it was like 100 layers or something or so I'm guessing this will be like 200 layers or something and it's probably going to be like 12 to 20 hours that's my guess just from doing this before maybe or more sometimes you know it comes up and it says two days and five hours and you're like okay maybe i need to adjust something <clears throat> so give it a second uh 12 hours i said 12 to 20 and not not too bad and now if i zoom in you can see you can barely even see the layering except for where it kind of um, crests out. Um, but if I zoom way in there, you get this kind of uh, moray pattern, which is um, those like star shaped things. That's from um, the, the pixels on the screen versus the um, lines, but super fine, 730 layers versus whatever I said, 100. So this will be like super high quality but is 12 hours worth it or do I need it sooner than that? So um, usually <clears throat> um, I'm going to print this a little faster just to. So now notice it disappeared because I changed the settings. I have to re-slice it, but I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go from this, this uh, the support um, that it's, it's on extruder one, which should be fine. And if I go to custom and look at my print settings and scroll, you, you have to make sure there's, there's, um, I'm going to close that window. There's tons of options, but I'm looking um, for support option. And um, so support structure, uh, support pattern. Let's see what this is. There's one that's called tree. And actually, doo -doo 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 -doo. now I don't see it, of course, now that I'm mentioning this uh, support. Everywhere support structure here it goes okay so this is tree so let's try this and actually this one it might not take advantage of this because most of the support materials on the inside so what the tree will do is um, add support material that comes from the outside of the object and kind of curves into the object and holds it up just right where it needs it and it's much easier to break off but um, I designed this so that um, you when you flip the bottom half over 
all that support material is going to be on the inside. By the time I break it all off and assemble this, I won't see any of the kind of ragged edges. <clears throat> the other nice thing while this is uh, slicing is with this tough PLA, you can actually sand it. And um, so, you know, usually I'll, I'll give it a kind of rough sand and then primer it and sand it again and primer it again and then paint it. So five hours, that's not too bad. And let's see if the tree structure has done anything new for us. So, yeah, you can't quite tell, but you see how this is um, kind of branching out a little bit differently. Let's go ahead and slice this. And, I mean, um, preview the slicing and see what, whoa. That's super unexpectedly weird. <laughs> that other one was, uh, you know, very geometric. This looks like some brain cells or something rather. And interesting uh, on the um, uh, the the bottom, which is the one on the left, it's got a lot more support structure. If you actually ignore the raft, um, this other one is going up at a kind of steep angle which it can handle and it really only needs the support structure as it's kind of bridging over the top um beep. so i think i'm gonna go i'm gonna um uh when i when i'm all done and i like this i just hit save to disk uh i didn't put my little usb drive in yet so um i'll transfer it over to there and then go set it into the printer um, i'm gonna monkey around with the settings before i actually print this a little bit but basically that's it you're ready to go. Save to disk. All right. Thanks for watching. That's this Cura slicing software. And Brian Galassa. <clears throat>